Computer. Intense log supplemental. For the past weeks, I've been arranging, grinding, and manufacturing. My main goal has been to separate the saucer section and move it over to a new location. Put that one in the log. Um, and now, as you can see, I got it almost all cleared out. I tried to install a merge block below here, and it's off just enough that I can't merge the ship with a stationary um, station block below. I'm going to continue to work on that. Let's take a look at that real quick. Right down here. So I was hoping to get enough um, lift <laughs> so those guys would snap in. Um, then it would make it a lot easier to separate the saucer from the lower hull. Because if I snap that off, this this fault this is gonna fall. I mean it's sitting on the ground kinda, but it's also sitting on the hill. So I'm not sure what's stabilizing what. I was gonna build uh, legs down right here to the ground um, also to help stabilize this guy. But anyway, I've been grinding down the nacelles. And I'm not even sure about this craft. It actually works now. I mean, it's, everything's cool with it, but not real powerful and don't know if it's necessary. I built the car using the projector block. Took a little bit of time. Um, but I haven't taken it down to the ground yet to try it out. And I probably won't at the moment. So uh, this is from a blueprint with slight modifications of my own. Um, I was able to lift it, so I think I can get it down to the ground. It's a little front heavy and it tends to tip me a little bit, but uh, it, it is doable. I just recently emptied the grinder because I'm starting on that in the cell. I was thinking I better not grind this one all the way before I start that one because I'm not sure if the weight would topple this. You know, if the weight's all over there and this one's gone, will it topple that way? Possibly. So I'm going to try to keep those even. Oh, I built a... Uh, one man, a little one man hover vehicle over here. Because I'm going to go run out and take a look at the new location where I'm going to plant. I don't want to say plant. Where I want to mount the saucer section. So I built this little guy. And it's kind of a hybrid. Yeah, but it kind of works. Yeah, it kind of works. I haven't died at it yet. <laughs> okay, let's see this. <coughs> Alright. You turn the power on. Oh, wait a minute. All my damn controls are gone. Uh... Damn it! Why, why did they disappear? Wait a minute. Didn't I have... Oh, no, no. Okay, I got it. That's all I need, really. Let's get out of there. Let's see if this works. Let me unlock it. Okay, it's part hover engine and part helicopter. So let's get the hell out of here. Easy. A little more altitude. I don't like the way the engine sound cuts out. Makes me nervous. Alright. Get a little clear here. I think there's a tree behind me. Okay. So as you can see, I've been getting a lot of grinding done. So I got a lot of parts. Now when I, I went through and renamed all the cargo containers that are in the saucer section so I can easily maneuver um, a lot of uh, you know my components and get them off the lower one um, might as well transfer it while it's still hooked so the new location the base mount over here you can see on the HUD oh god don't don't go over the cliff easy easy turn it is a hell of a cliff but I found this area over here and put in some parts. So I thought this is a nice scenic view. So yeah, there it is. I figure if it, it's going to be tricky because I'm going to have to bring the saucer section over this big giant gully here. 
<laughs> this is chasm to hell and back. But look at this. This is, this is nice. Um. So yeah, I'll put merge blocks on down here. I just wanted to get a location. I thought this was pretty cool. I almost had an accident when I was putting this up. But yeah, isn't that neat? So this is where I'm going to park the saucer section. And it looks like there's a lot of ore down there. I couldn't find any natural caves. I scoped this area out over here. Let me check my fuel. Five days, all right. Yeah, so I haven't really gone too far. But I think this will work. So, but that's down the road. Let's get the hell back. I mean, as you can see, there's... I get some altitude here. We're pretty small in the big scheme of things down there. Um, there was a big giant mountain over there I was thinking of going to, but geez, moving that far, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So there's a lot of um, cracks and gullies over this way. I thought about that one over there, because that's kind of a standalone. Not the one right here closest in front of me, but way in the distance. Um... But yeah, that big mountain off on the right there looked very attractive. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with where I'm at. Wow, the ship sure looks small down there, doesn't it? <sighs> so I'll just continue. Easy. Grinding away. Days are pretty um, short here, so I'm limited. I do inside work and outside work, depending on uh, the sun, really. I think what I, I don't, I'm not sure if I should have all these smaller ships attached to the lower hull when I separate the saucer, or if they should be on the saucer. Um, at least this one will be. Um, the other ones I might go park over there. I started grinding that away, and then I said, well, maybe I should use that for emergency parking for all these ships. And we can uh, just come back and get them later. Not a lot of landing area here, so the car, if I get the car down, as you can see, there's not an easy way to drive over there. I'm going to do it, though. Just drive over there and see what the hell. Let's see here. I was going to get some more grinding. What is it? About noon? Tree! Job for the goddamn tree. I need to get rid of some of those railings right down here. Easy. Using a combination of um, technologies, I'm kind of comfortable in this vehicle. Let's get a drone view real quick. Yeah, I'm always higher than I think I am. Isn't that weird? So, I think I'm safe. Yeah, I'm safe. Clear that railing. Should be alright right here. Turn the HUD on. A little lower. Easy. Take it easy, big guy. As soon as I see in proximity, man, I'm locking it down. Oh, wait a minute, only two? What the hell's going on? Okay, hang on, I need a view. Oh god! What the hell, man? Oh my god! Don't do that shit! I need to put a camera back there. Okay. There we go. Lock it down. Turn off the engines. They always go into a super burst. And then turn off the power. Yeah! Pretty cool! Pretty goddamn cool. Now, I should probably get back to grinding, really. Um, I mean, I need to grind some more. It's tedious work, but it's got to be done, man. All right, let's see. What do we got? Here we go. Okay, power on. Um, engines are off. Now they're on. Unlock the gear. 
Up a little bit and then out. Drone view. A lot of shit to hit around here. So I'm trying, I, I've been emptying it. Wait a minute, there's still a lot of weight. Oh, that's the whole ship mass. But as I grind, as you know, it uh, gains mass. So I emptied at about 300,000. Even though the other ship crashed at 500,000. This one's bigger and got more engines, so I'll just go with the 500,000 before I empty again. But the days aren't long enough to acquire 500,000, it seems. Easy. I need more side thrusters. Because there's a lot of side drift there. That can really be dangerous. Let's take it easy. I let it do it itself. Alright, let's go back over here a little bit. A little bit. Easy. Man, this is like a huge undertaking. Unbelievable. What was I thinking? Well, I had to do something, I guess. I mean, I could have just lived my entire life in the ship, but... I thought that would be kind of boring. Let's see, are they running? Yes. Yep. I mean, it's not the best design. But it's not the worst design. I mean, <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's get this guy over here. Alright. <clears throat> so, I I've been going really slow. I broke off one uh, a grinder already. Because of that drift. And I noticed when I start, I start losing altitude after a while, and I thought it was because of the mass. Um, if I, if, you know, that would turn red, or, you know, like, if it knows what my thrust is, and my power, if it would, like, change to yellow, orange, and red, that would be awesome. The mass. That way, you would, when it hits orange, you'd know it's time to go empty. I tried to find a script that would do that, but I couldn't find one. Not even for inside the cockpit, but there we go. And I, I, I you'll notice I am pretty um, try to be delicate on everything. It's because I, you know, I'm tired of dying. Really, I mean, you know, and my nose, the nose of this thing keeps going down. There we go. It's because that's it's front heavy for sure, but I don't want to put more mass on the back. I did put the welders on. I could take those off. Because I really am not welding at the moment. But you never know. Grinding and welding. I mean, it did help a little bit, but... I don't know if I need it. So I'm just going to continue to grind the hell away. To uh, let... And you know what? Reducing the mass by taking the, the cells off might help me move the ship a little bit raise it so I can um, force those merge blocks to connect down below in the front there. That's going to be a hell of a jolt. I mean, it, it, it was a pretty good, uh, it's offset pretty good. <laughs> so, I I was afraid that if it jumps and snaps on, all my little ships will jump off. But I'm using gear, not just connectors. So, they should be okay. I thought about moving them down off of the hull before I do that. But, I've never had anything break while merging before. And I think I have had small... But that was in zero G. And it, while I had other ships connected, so... Now, we're not connected from the connector, but landing gear. I just gotta take advantage of the sunlight. It seems like the nights are longer than the days, which kind of makes sense if you think about it, because... More of the planet is in... Well, I don't know. You'd think it'd be half and half, really. It is a ball. Am I gaining altitude here or something? Yes, yeah, something's going on. 
Okay. You don't want to drop down too quick. There we go. I see that it's tilted. But that's just the nature of this beast. At first I was like, well, I can leave the gear on the surface and just graze along. But that didn't work out too well. I might try it again on a, a reverse pass. But yeah, man, getting over to that cliff, I'm not even anywhere near that, that's for sure. Um, I will before, like, once I get it hovering, i got to worry about power consumption. I can't leave it hovering. And I won't want to merge it over here. Well, I guess I could temporarily then unmerge it. And then go merge it, because I'm going to have to work more on that uh, cliff base over there. Man, jeez. Maybe I should have put like, you know, 16 and then came down on it. I thought about doing that. Put, you know, have the whole bottom be grinders and then just land on things. But then how would you land? You'd have to always um, mount or connect with a connector and hang down, which I could do off the back of the hull of the starship. I could put a downward facing connector. That might be an option. And then just have like 20 freaking grinders. But this is alright. Gives me something to do. Helps pass the days. I don't know what the seasons are like here, but... Pretty nice area. I got pretty lucky, if you want to look at it that way. Hey, what the hell's going on there? What the hell's going on there? Get down. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing with my time. I can't wait to see how that's going to work out. Separating the saucer section. I think it will. I just don't know if I have enough engines on it. And as you can see, I got a lot of freaking engines on that damn thing. Not too many. And lucky I had a million parts, but... I got those on the far right done today. This mo or yesterday, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm definitely gaining altitude. I think it's because my ship is... Keeps going at it. Ah! Not too hard, dude. What the hell, dude? Be cool. This ain't a knife through butter, man. I end up, um... You know... Pretty working a hell of a lot. Before I do any, um, oh god, am I about ready to hit that fucking engine? Almost. And I did not use this to weld the engines, I should have. I just tapped into um, the piping and put a crate up there. It wasn't that bad. You see? Start reversing. Holy hell, man. This is pretty delicate work. But uh, I still haven't come across any hostile beings. So that's actually good. I would not want to spend my time battling somebody or something. While I'm trying to do something. Can you imagine? Having to always look over your shoulder. While you're trying to do some shit. Now can I move this over? Can I actually land the gear down? A little bit. 
And then go backwards and use this as a stabilizer? I don't know. Oh, look, it's not even at the right angle. So, um... That's not quite what I wanted to do. Yeah, I want to do this and then go backwards and let it graze while I'm kind of sitting on it. Let's see if that works. Probably snap off a goddamn landing gear. You now, this might work. It's always slow, but interesting. Yeah, I didn't want to have battles all day. I kind of wanted to get something accomplished, more sciencey. As opposed to, you know, PvP all the time. Because I remember out in the galaxy, I would go and try to build a base on an asteroid or something. You'd always get raiders and scum showing up just to destroy what took you hours to build. So this is kind of nice. Don't have to keep looking over my shoulder. Well, so far, anyway. You never really know what might show up on a planet. Wow, this is like paint drying, man. But it's what you gotta do. I should be turning sideways and using all my grinders. That might be more... Efficient, really. Let's go up a little bit and spin around this way. And then what? Back up. Yeah, maybe it's more efficient this way. That way I'm actually using all my grinders. But I gotta be up high enough to not hit them. Yeah, I need some more sideways thrust. Look how slow that is. And then it's just gonna keep going. Oh wait, no, I guess that friction... Uh... Yeah, I need more sideways thrust. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll add some more. Oops, wrong way, damn it. No, oh, that's just gonna offset me for a long time. Sun's getting ready to go down. So I'm gonna kill these guys. Get a little bit of altitude. Let's see what I'm, I'm not even at 300,000. Damn it. Well, if I jump on it first thing in the morning, wow, you can totally see I'm not straight. What the hell's going on here? Well, that's kind of weird. Let's just bring my ass over here and unload. And I didn't put a, uh, one of those blocks that automatically empties the whole thing. I have to actually go in there. And... Drag all the goods out, but that's alright. Not a big deal. Gives me something to do. This is early retirement, really. Oh, man. You know, I, I can go down awful fast. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we, yeah, I got some more grinding done. I, I'm... Took a sightsee over at the cliff mount point, so got an idea of kind of what I'm heading for there. I'm thinking it's a hell of a task. Let's see, did I turn on the. Okay, let's turn on the connector. Um, turn the lights on, I guess. I didn't need them before. Alright, am I lined up? Easy does it there, guy. They like to snap you into position. Ah! Alright. So let's see. I can connect. And I 
can kill the engines. I gotta do this in order. I don't want to turn everything off or I'll drop right down. So we turn off the engines. Turn off the lights. Um, now if I turn off the engines, we'll... I should stay connected. Ah! Yes. Because I'm getting power from that. Alright. Jump the hell out of there. Yeah! Wow. So that's what I've been doing day in and day out. Is grinding. Now the car here. Oh, you know, I'm not even sure if it works right. I, I did put a couple thrusters on the back in case I need some lift. Like if I get stuck or flipped or something. Um, yeah, it's kind of nice. Ship fuel critical. It's open to the air. Don't have to worry about dying. But yeah, pretty interesting. And it does have lights, but. Uh, it's not hooked up right now. So we'll figure this out. And yeah, because now that I'm that close with the saucer, it ain't never going to work. And I tried to lift it using all these engines just enough to get that mount point or that uh, merge block to kick in. It just wouldn't do it. And I think I can, though, if I get rid of the weight. Also... Everything that's stored on this thing is a lot of weight. Again, that's why I built this um, movable large container over here. Um, so I was thinking of loading that down. Like maybe eight of them or maybe nine and then lift it away with the ship. But I don't think that ship could carry full ass containers. I might have to do one at a time possibly. And then go over and uh, I'll put a merge block on this side too. That way I can merge on. I mean not merge. Connect on and then go connect it over at the mount point. I don't like having all my stuff that far away from me though. All my supplies. But anyway that's where I'm at right now. It's getting dark. So I'll be doing some more inside work. Um, organizing and whatnot. I mean, I could just turn this into a base, but it's kind of crooked, pissing me off a little bit. If I could get the merge block to kick in, I could just convert this thing into a base. You know, I could have just stayed here, I, I guess. But I don't like this location, really. I mean, it's a hill, a lot of trees, uh, no water. Wait a minute, do we even see water today? Or ice? I mean, all the water is frozen. And I need ice. And that's what this guy's for, that freaking miner up there so I have to take him out pretty quick but I didn't see any so maybe I'll scope again take the the helo straight up as high as I can go and hopefully it doesn't stall and then I can look around for ice but uh, yeah that's all for today I think I'm gonna jump in the cryo um, and we'll catch you guys next time it'll probably be uh, a little while I mean I want to get some stuff done I mean, nobody wants to sit there and watch all these logs of me grinding every single block. So next time, that these in the cells might be gone. I don't know. I don't know. Not sure how much detail I should go into to my logs, really. It's hard to tell. They always say, be efficient. Well, you know, whatever. Do I, my middle name is not efficient, dude. It's halfway destroy. So there you go. Computer. In log.